Hey, what's happening guys? Today we're making a keto protein shake that not only looks like an Oreo, but it tastes like one too. And the best thing about this recipe is the fact that this entire Oreo keto protein shake has just two net carbs. Now, with that said, today's low carb keto protein shake recipe, it is sponsored by Isopure Protein. And really, if you're trying to make yourself a protein shake with the lowest amount of carbs possible, their protein powder is some of the best you can use. And the reason being is because a ton of their protein powders have zero carbs or next to zero grams of carbs. For example, their vanilla protein powder, which we'll be using to make this Oreo keto protein shake with, it has zero grams of carbs. And like I said, a bunch of the other flavors do as well. And as a lot of you guys know, I love using their unflavored protein powder to make a lot of savory recipes with. It bakes incredibly well, and it also has zero grams of carbs. Anyway, let's not waste any more time. Let's jump right into the good stuff because I'm sure you're getting hungry for this Oreo keto protein shake, and I'll show you how to make it. All right, first things first, we're gonna add a heaping half a cup or 115 milliliters of some of this stuff, some unsweetened vanilla almond milk to our blender. Then after we've added our milk in there, we're gonna add some creaminess to our keto shake by using some of these frozen diced avocados. I wanna use around a half a cup or 75 grams of them to make the shake. Also, for best results, make sure to use a slightly underripe avocado for your keto shake. This will ensure that it's super neutral in flavor and it doesn't make the keto shake taste like an avocado. Anyway, the next thing we're gonna add is some of that zero carb vanilla protein powder by Isopure that I was talking about earlier. And of course, this is to give us that Oreo cream filling vibe to our keto protein shake. And as far as how much we're gonna use, all we'll need is one scoop or 30 grams of it. Then after we've added that, we're gonna add around a tablespoon and a half or seven grams of this black cocoa powder. And this is what's really gonna give the shake its Oreo flavor. So if you don't have this, make sure to pick some up so you get that authentic flavor to your shake. Anyway, the next thing we're gonna add is about four tablespoons or 36 grams of some zero carb sweetener. Then we're gonna add a pinch of salt to really bring out all the flavors and about a half a cup or 90 grams of ice to make this keto Oreo shake super thick. So now that we've added all the ingredients, we're going to pop the top onto our blender and blend everything until our shake is thick and creamy. Then when it is, I like to make the shake look like an Oreo cookie. So I'll pour half the shake in a glass, add some whipped cream on top of it, and then top that with the rest of the shake. And today I was feeling a little bit extra. So I added some more whipped cream on top of that and a bit of black cocoa powder to the top of the shake as well. Mmm, that is so good. It tastes just like an Oreo, you cannot taste the avocado in there at all. It's incredible. It also doesn't taste low carb or keto. It legitimately tastes like an Oreo in liquid form. It is, mm, mm, 11 out of 10 good. That's how good it is. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this keto shake. If you want the full recipe, it's down in the video description below. Also down there, you'll find links to all the stuff that I used to make this keto shake today. So like the protein powder, the black cocoa powder, all that stuff is down in the video description below. Again, I hope you enjoy this keto shake and I will see you in the next one. Cheers, guys. Mm. Mm, mm, mm.